Hello all. So in this video, we will see how we can uh, create a data model using a BIA report. So for that, we'll go to a catalog uh, and then create a data model. Okay. So normally we will use uh, to create data model uh, SQL, right? So we have a few more options also to create a data model uh, with the different sources. So one of the option is uh, using analysis. So generally we use SQL query and we have also other options, uh, view object, web service, CSV file, Excel, XML, content server, right? So, so in this video, we are going to show, um, I'm going to show this, uh, data model creating using analysis report so i'll say uh, account with owner uh, right so i'll say account report using analysis so the report will be created in baa uh, using baa but final output we will show uh in uh, using data model and uh, with this so there is <clears throat> no need to write uh, sql for this kind of reports so we can just select the ba analysis from the folders um, so So my report is in custom and then my folder. So this is the uh, analysis that I want. So timeout we can give if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to, uh, if there is no, uh, if, if we don't need any like, um, timeout then, then we can keep it blank uh, so that it will take a default timeout but otherwise if we have time, some limitation though then we can give in in seconds so after selecting this analysis just click ok and the data model will be created based on the uh, columns <clears throat> we selected in the analysis report so in the analysis currently uh, we have also some filters so all the filters we can uh, we can make it from uh, the BA, BAA analysis only because here we don't have a option to uh, edit uh, as a SQL. So even if we edit with edit data set, it will show this uh, screen where we can select the data mode um, report only. So by default, uh, it it won't take the column header names custom row ID, country code, account type, or account status. So these names, uh, it, it won't take. So if you want to uh, rename, we can just go to properties. And uh, in the display name, we can see uh, what, what this field is. Just use that um, display name only, and then, and then put it as a alias, so that uh, it will be changed. And this name uh, should be uh, without uh, without spaces. Okay, so once we enter all of that uh, renaming, so then uh, save this particular data model or uh, just uh, go to structure and then uh, from here also we can uh, change the uh, names. 
so these xml tag names uh, will be used in in case of uh, rtf templates uh, and then go to data and then see the output we can notice uh, it is taking uh, some more time than sql because it is uh, loading uh, the data from the analysis so first i'll, I'll save the this report and then i'll uh, and then we'll run we'll try to run and see the uh, output We can see the uh, sample output here, uh, and uh, we can use this. Uh, so this data model for further uh, creating a report, right? So we can do all of that using uh, create report options. But this is the uh, way of uh, creating data model using DIA analysis. <clears throat> 